How are you doing? How's your day going? So good. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So Having a blast. Fun. Right. I'm in such awe of both of you. Like, I won't list all your accomplishments because I only have four minutes. <laughs> um, but a uh, question for both of you. Tell me how you got involved in Rise of the Pink Ladies and were you big fans of Grease beforehand? Yeah, you, uh, definitely a big fan of Grease. Grew up on, on the movie. Uh, I owned the album. I, I loved everything about Grease. And then how I got involved was uh, actually Annabelle. They had another choreographer in mind for it. And then Annabelle Oaks, who's our showrunner and brilliant showrunner, she uh, saw me on Drag Race. <laughs> and she was like, hey, I, I really want to talk to him. And so that's kind of how, know yeah, that. that's how it all happened. And I've done other things other than Drag Race, but <laughs> a lot of other but, things. But 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 uh, that was but you know, I, I, Drag Race is my home, and I, yeah. I love it. And and now we're now we're here. Wow. Um, I had heard that this project was happening um, through a woman named Wendy Christensen, who is runs film and TV at my published where I'm published by Warner Chapel. And I heard it was happening, and like harassed as many people as possible to just please get me an, 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 a Zoom call with the showrunner. Like, I need to, um, just by the concept of the rise of the Pink Ladies. And then when I got to read the pilot, I, like, lost my mind and said I'll do anything. And I, like, offered to demo, to write a demo based on the, the pilot. And all the executives at Paramount were like, no, like, Annabelle, you can't ask Justin Tranter to demo. And I was like, no, I want her to be confident in this choice. <laughs> I'm going to demo. So I wrote the song New Cool to, to prove to Annabelle how serious I was about the job. Awesome. You're such a prolific pop songwriter. Then how do you approach writing songs for musical narrative as opposed to pop rock songs? I mean, it's a lot harder. <laughs> um, writing songs for musicals is a lot harder just because... For the most part in pop music, this is a sweeping general statement, but for the most part, you spend three minutes in the same feeling. Whereas in a musical, the characters might be in conversation. The character might be feeling something very different by the end of it than they were feeling at the beginning. Um, but how I approach most pop music is talking to the artists about their lives and find to try and f trying to find moments of truth in their lives that feel like it'd be a good song. So for this, the script was the pop star. For this, Annabelle was the pop star, asking her about these characters. But then the challenge, the fun challenge was, it's a lot more than one feeling for every three minutes. It might be 12 feelings in three minutes. <laughs> cool. uh, Jamal, I'm obsessed with your choreo. Like oh, to quote you. the original Grease, it's electrifying. Um, <laughs> how do you go about capturing that iconic 50s dance style and manage to turn it into something that feels fresh and new, but still authentic to the period? Um, I, I, I've been, I've been kind of just saying that, honestly, I learned every step of the original Grease. I know every number. And so because I knew that growing up, I, I just feel like it was in my body yeah. already. So... Um, having that in my mind and then also being able to um, be current and 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 ha and understand what is going on to in today's culture and, and you know dealing with dance I I, I was just able to um, d have the balance because I didn't want it to feel like 2023 because I definitely wanted it to feel 50s but if we were just going to do 50s, we might as well just do Grease again. You know what I mean? So what's what's the point? So I just was like, let's infuse it. And then Justin here with all the, the music that he was sending was like, oh, no, we just can't stay in one box. Like, we're going everywhere, <laughs> you know? And that's kind of how it all came to pass. 